What's up, fellas? Your boy Don Kel coming to the rig with a video, and it's been a long, long, long time that I post a video, guys. I know it's been probably like two months or something like that. I don't know. It's been a long time, and um, guys, this video is gonna be just me reaching out to you guys, touching bases with you guys, letting you guys know what's been going up, where I've been, and what's going on with, with your boy Don Kel. You know why I haven't posted a video so long, and, and just you know I'm just gonna be, it's just gonna be like you know like a, like just me talking with you. It's gonna be just just talking, it's just me talking to you. It's nothing, it's nothing informative or nothing like that. So if you guys, if you guys only watch the videos for informative stuff or chunky stuff, then this is probably not a video for you. But if you guys just want to know what your boy Dark has been up to, why I haven't posted videos, and why the scenery looks different. Then stick around and you know I'm gonna give you the scoop. You know, I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into details and to let you guys know what your boy's been up to, what's going on, and the changes that I've done and everything. And also I'm gonna take this opportunity to go ahead and throw it out there, fellas. Yeah, I know your boy Dr. believes in God. And if you guys, some of you guys that are watching, you don't, you know, it, everybody has the right to believe what they want. But if you do believe in God and you're a trucker and you're out on the road. And you want to have a channel where you can go and keep it nice, short, and sweet. Your boy Dark Hill opened up a new channel. It's called Truckers Delivering the Word. And this right here is actually the intro to the video right here. All right, pretty cool intro, right? My daughter created that for me real quick. So that channel is called Truckers Delivering the Word. And it's basically just, you know... I opened up with a prayer with the Lord's Prayer. I'll share a scripture that I got that stood out to me from my readings, my daily readings. And then I'll close out on a thankful prayer. That's basically what it is. After I read the scripture, I'll probably say a little something on it and i close out. Uh, the goal is to keep those videos under five minutes. And it's just a way for us to share and eat spiritual food. Because that is a, that the, the most important food that we should be eating is spiritual food that we don't eat enough. Anyway, I'm not going to get into preaching. I just want to throw that in there. Let you guys know if you guys want. Check us out. You know. Go subscribe to that channel. Truck is delivering the word. Get some spiritual food with your boy Dark Hell. That's what it is. All right, so let's get into it. So where your boy Dark Hell's been and what I've been up to, man. All right, fellas. So you guys know it's been months since I posted a video. And, um, you know, I've been going through a lot of stuff, you know, and personally and job related. You know what I'm saying? You know, my, yeah, I know I have my, I open my own authority. And thank God, by the grace of God, we made it through the whole year. It's great. I passed my audit. Everything went good. I got audited, my first year of safety audit, we passed it, so we're all good. But I had to leave the company in, in the beginning of January because, you know, the only two people in the company right now, just me and my brother, were, were in the company. And my brother got, within the span of three months, he had got two out of services. One of them was not his fault, the other one was. And and he also got into an incident, which was not his fault as well. And, you know, it was, he was my brother goes everywhere, he was in the ice. And the truck slid on ice as he was trying to park in the parking lot. You know how sometimes they get ice and he, he had a little incident. So I don't I don't hold that against him either. It just shit happens. It's trucking. So, but because of that incident, the two auto services are all within the span of two and a half, three months. Progressive decided to cut, you know, increase our insurance. And instead of giving us, we had like five months left to, to finish the policy. They compressed it down to two months. And so for two trucks, and it was just a lot. It was just way too much money. And the only way to save the company was to remove one of the trucks. And obviously, I'm not going to ask my brother to leave the company because I have more options open for me than he does. So I made the decision. To, plus, I, you know, I, I, I've, I've been one. I was like, you know what? I'm in business with Maybach. I can just go back to Maybach until April. And, you know, I'll come back to my authority or whatever, you know, or for a year. Like I've said before, I was planning to come to Maybach for a year finished paying off the Terminator and then coming back to my company. So I did that. I ended up going back to Maybach with the Terminator and uh, we sold the International. You guys know we sold the International. Well, I sold it back to my uncle and he basically gave me the credit because my uncle had sold it to me. You know, obviously he financed it to me. So he sold it to me, you know, with family and I just gave it back to him and he had financed it to some guy that went to Maybach and that guy didn't go well for him at Maybach. He wasn't happy. So he ended up bringing my uncle back to the truck. Now, that's part of God's plan because I did not know at the time that he had brought my uncle back to the truck. I know that I had went to Maybach with the Classic and I was myself. The first two weeks were okay because one of the things that I told Maybach when I went back, I already found out that I was not going to be working with, with the Count Joskula Mike, which is my dispatcher. 
and I didn't like that at all. But you know, they, they supposedly put me with a new guy, which is a great guy, by the way. And I was, you know, he's gonna be able to work with me. And since I'm in business Maybach, I was gonna be able to go on the low board, find lows, and I said, hey, look, call this low for me. And it worked out the first two weeks. But then it got to a point where every low that I, you know, if, I, if what he offered me, I didn't like, or if he said it was on the board, I would go on the board. And he would. I started realizing that they were trying to force me to do loads that they had under their account. Uh, you know, again, I can't speak for everybody in Maybach. I know this team they had certain accounts that they needed to get done. So it was, they just wanted me going to Chicago, you know, Illinois, you know, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan. That's all they had. That, that, that's just where they wanted to keep us. And I'm not, I wasn't trying to go up there in that deep winter time. That's just not how I roll. But anyway, whatever, I digress. So anyway, it wasn't working out at Maybach. I was going through some stuff. So then I made the decision. I spoke to my uncle. I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, well, before I spoke to my uncle, what happened was that. I, like I said, I was going through a lot of stuff in my life. I went to a retreat. I went to a men's retreat. It was four days in a, in a campground in Claxton, Georgia. It's called the uh, Men's Tres Dias number 49. It was actually the Georgia Coastal Men's Tres Dias number 49. I went through. I sat at the table of John. I spent four days letting God love on me. If you guys don't know what a retreat is, it's a place where you go to like just spend time with God. And it's just, you know, testimonies. It's like going to like, like a camp for God, like God camp. And that this camp is not for new Christians, it's for people that have already been saved, that are going to go get resharpened up and all that. And they have ministries, like I had a ministry which was called the Warriors Bible Study Group. I worked with the troubled youth and men that men out of prison and drug addicts and all that. Those are the time, that was my ministry when I was, in my, when I was before I got into trucking with my church, which, you know, trucking separated me from that. The devil was very smart. He was, he, was, he was satisfied knowing that I was still talking to God and praying and everything in my truck, but he was very wise to separate me from a ministry. He was very satisfied with me. Anyway, the point here is, I went there, I needed that in my life. I was going through a lot of stress, you know, struggles, financial stuff. Everybody's going through it right now. It's not just me. A lot of people are going through it right now because we're living in tough times. So anyway, I went to his retreat and God revealed to me that he was going to take things from my life. I had to give up things, basically, that I want, that I have in my life so that he can work. But he's going to provide me with what I need. Because God's always going to give you what you need. He doesn't always give you what you want, but he will give you what you need. And I knew right there that leaving Maybach and giving up the Terminator was one of them. But I can, I'm going to tell you guys that before I went to his retreat, when I started realizing that things were not going too well for me at least, with the dispatcher that they provided with me, you know what I'm saying? We made, me and my uncle made Maybach an offer again to buy the Terminator. A cash offer. You guys know when I first opened my authority, they wouldn't let me bring the truck over, so I bought the International. Then we want we wanted to buy a second truck because my brother we're, we're going to be buying a truck for my brother. We went and made me back an offer. We, we had the money in hand, and the story was that they they couldn't find the title. We ended up buying Big Chief, which my brother ended up getting. And I mean the International. Then magically. You know, magically, supposedly, we go into business, they tell me, oh, we got the title now, but if you want to take the truck to your company, we go into business, they get, they tell me they got a title. So they give me, you know, uh, so I bring the truck over to Merkin Chief, not even a month into it, I guess, hit in the back, it puts the Terminator out for two months, I had to remove it from the insurance, and I couldn't put it back in. So it was part, all right? The International came back to me at the time. And then for the third time, then when, when the whole thing happened with my brother that I had to leave to go back to Maybach, instead of going back with the International, what did I do? I sold the International back to my uncle and I took the Classic and went back to Maybach with the, with the Terminator, with the Classic. And in all that going on, the guy we sold the International to, he was, uh, well, my uncle financed that guy. He was supposed to, he came to Maybach and he was supposed to work for American Chief, but... He went to Maybach and he wasn't happy. He ended up giving my uncle back the truck, and I did not know that at the time. I was at Maybach. I didn't know he had brought my uncle back the truck. So when all this was going on, you know, I told my uncle, "Hey, this is going crazy over here. Let's let's just try to buy the truck, and I'm gonna go try to go." You know, I knew there's other companies out there from channels that I watched. I could probably go pay 10% and book my own loads. I was willing to try that. So we made we uh, once again we have cash in hand. We're trying to get the Terminator back from Maybach. And it's another story again. Right there, I knew something was up. And I'm gonna tell you guys a story about the Terminator. The Terminator is not a truck that Maybach owns. It's a truck that one of the 
big guys that made back owns. He bought this truck for his dad. His dad Jackknife. His dad was a driver here. And the whole story is that the truck was dying in the yard and I brought it back to life. And I practically paid off the truck already. I just owed him repair money. But I was money in hand trying to get the title. And once again, we couldn't come to a deal. And I'm sorry, I started feeling like they're playing me. Maybe they don't got the title or they're just trying to keep me here. So all that stuff was going on that I ended up going to a men's retreat. So when I came out of that men's retreat, I already knew that change was coming, that I had to give up things. That I knew right there, I said, you know what? I'm going to leave Maybach. And I'm going to start new somewhere else. I don't care. And I, now I'm in a situation where I, we sold the International. Big Chief is my brothers. And the Classic, one of the things I was going to give up was the Classic. Because I already, you know, God, you know, revealed it to me that that was just a trap. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not, it's, Maybach is not the problem here. The only problem is that one guy that owned that truck, he had an issue with one of my family members that worked for me in the past. You know, they had a big fallout. And I just... Maybe that was his way of getting back. I don't know, but, or I maybe he's just a grimy dude. I don't know. I don't want to call names on. I don't want to say nothing. I just know that I knew that I had to walk away from the Terminator as much as I love that truck. And I put so much time and sweat and love into that truck. Sometimes you just got to use your eyes and see. And it took a long time for me to see. It took God to open my eyes in this four day retreat. I had to give it up to God, you know what I'm saying? And God really told me, he's gonna take things that I want and give me things I need. And the Terminator is not something that I needed, it's something that I wanted. So I, I, I knew when I leaving that I was gonna give up the Terminator and leave Maybach. So I called my uncle, I said, hey, you know, um, I'm gonna be giving Maybach back to a classic and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go work over here. You know, I, if, if you don't have a truck or something, my uncle's always buying trucks. I'm like, if you don't have a truck, if you have a truck or something, I would need a truck. Or I'll just go work company. I, at the point, I just knew that I was going to leave Maybach and I needed change. And to my surprise, and this is God working here, he says to me, hey, your truck is here. The guy brought me back to International. It's still in your name. It's still got your plates. I didn't change nothing. It's here. It's right here in the yard. So, guys, when I first went my authority, this is the truck that God blessed me with over my authority. Then I pushed it away. You know what I'm saying? Then it came back to me. I got the classic. I got an accident. This truck came back to me again. Then I pushed it away again to go back to Maybach with the Classic again. And then all this fallout happened. I gave the Classic and the International was waiting for me there. So I took it as a sign. Okay, God, so this is what I need right now. It's not something that I want because the International is not really what I want. It's a great truck. It's a good looking truck, but it's not what I wanted. But it's what I needed. So I said, my uncle gave me, he told me I said, hey, I'm going to come pick it up. I'd rather go as an owner operator than a company driver any day. So I picked up, I'm back in the International, fellas, as you can see back in the international and I came to work to a company I'm not gonna say no names of the company I'm working at right now but I can tell you guys it's going pretty good they uh, they it's temp they take 10% of the gross trailer and insurance together is only 327 a week and we get paid as we when we want so basically 48 hours after you've made the delivery you can send the bills in and you'll get paid the very next day so so if you send the bills in like you delivered on Monday you send the bills in on Tuesday morning Wednesday morning you get paid so is you get paid on your schedule as an owner operator which is not bad I actually and then they they don't pass I, I saw I 35 you know in Texas to the east straight up from Texas the line straight up everything to the east they don't go nowhere west so they don't go far which is perfect for me and like I said one of my uncles have been here for years I just never wanted to come because I was happy with Maybach and Maybach is a great company fellas don't get it twisted I didn't leave Maybach because it's a bad company I left me back because it's what I what I needed to do. I needed change, and I needed to just go somewhere new, first start. I still I still recommend me back to people and operators, company drivers, especially company drivers. But for me, this is what I needed. So I, like, again, I'm not gonna say the name of the company I'm at because I'm not gonna be here long. This is just a stepping stone to getting back to my authority. So that's what it is, fellas. I'm back in the international. The Terminator is gone for good. Like I, I'm walking away from that. God knows that's what I want, and I believe in my heart that in the future God will give me what I what I want in the future. Once you know, once I'm right, I'll get my W900 or, or a Classic. Which honestly, I wasn't done with the Freightliner Classic. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be hunting for another Freightliner Classic in the future, and we're gonna go from there because the space is just incredible inside. But anyway, that's what it is, man. You know, what I'm saying again, the video is pretty long, but guys, I'm just touching base with you guys. You guys know straight up what's going on with your boy Kel, where I've been. Guys, I went to a men's retreat that changed, it just changed my whole way of seeing things. And I started realizing that I need a change in my life. And sometimes to change your life, 
you have to give up things that you want in your life and open your eyes and see and just do and receive things that you need. And right now what I need is this international. It's going pretty good for me since I went back, since I came to this company. Again, it's, I'm, I'm, at first I was a little bit, uh, you know, I wasn't liking it because I haven't been on EOD in years. And I'm on EOD right now and it sucks. But I'm, you know, but I'm sleeping right now. I'm actually getting sleep. I'm getting rest now because, you know, you got to do the 10 hour breaks. And I'm getting used to it because they're roused. They, they get me home every week because they're, they're out of base out of Miami. So I'm always going, I'm always there. Like right now it's Friday. I'm on the way home from Alabama and I made pretty good money this week. So maybe later on when I give the people a little, you know, I'll let you guys know what company this is, but it's not a bad company. It's pretty decent. They are very strict on safety and like, you know, equipment, you know, and all that. So anyway, but that's what it is, fellas. Your boy, Darkel. Is back in the international in the Decepticon, and you know how your boy Darkel does. You know how you know how we do it over here at Darkel Customs. You know we're gonna be doing some stuff to this truck. If I'm gonna be in this truck, y'all know I gotta be riding pretty, man. I got just gotta do it, man. I just gotta do it. I did. Um, I wrapped up my glove box with the same material of the dash that I already had. Didn't guys? Y'all know I have bought some nice high gloss white carbon fiber epoxy for the classic, which I still have the whole roll in my house. And I do got the stereo off the classic, the white, I still got my white stereo. Yeah, I know I'm gonna redo this dash. Even though, let me guys, guys let me know in the comments you think. Should I leave the Decepticon with the oak look? Or should I just do the whole damn thing over, man? I'm thinking about going with the white. I'm thinking about going with the white inside on this too. I'm thinking about doing the whole dash white, glove box, stereo white, floor black, and just, I'm even thinking about spraying all this tan to black. I don't know, I just like black. I don't know, I've never been a fan of this khaki, this tan stuff, but. I'll go, I'll go to town. I'll paint all this shit black. Y'all don't know how your boy Darkel goes down. But let me know in the comments. But anyway, fellas, that's what it is, fellas. We're back in the Decepticon. We're for, for good. We're staying in this truck. I'm not moving nowhere until I'm stable and I can make a move and, and get something that I want, which is, is going to probably be another freight on the Classic. And that's what it is, fellas. So there it is, fellas. I just gave you guys a scoop of where your boy Darkel has been why I haven't posted a video. I had to post a video because I was just getting things in order and right and getting, you know, getting back on the path and doing things wrong. Again, guys, don't forget, Truckers Delivering the Word. Go subscribe to that channel if you guys believe in God and you want to share spiritual food. It's a great little channel. We've only got about three or four videos uploaded so far. I'm going to try to post at least three to four videos a week, maybe five up in that channel. And it's spiritual food, the short little chat, the short little videos. Let's give God a little five minutes a day, fellas. So that's what it is, fellas. I'll be catching you guys in the next video. There are, you know, like I said, we're going to be doing stuff to the international. I just wrapped the glove box with old vinyl because I just needed to do that. I needed to do something. But again, guys, I'm thinking about doing the whole interior in white. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think I should do. Should I leave it old or should I go ahead and do the white wrap and paint all this black? Let me know in the comments, guys. It's good to be back on YouTube, guys. Video's going to be coming. You know, I try to keep my videos short, but this one got in into like the 17, 18 minute mark because again, I'm just reaching out to you guys and you guys know that your boy Dark Girl is doing good. I'm okay and where I was at and we're going to keep it on trucking, man. So guys, if you like the video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. It's all good. It's all love. It's your boy Dark Cal, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.